Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one is from a company by the name of Aero, and uh, the actual product is called the Stealth Wallet. And uh, the reason they call it the Stealth Wallet is because it is so thin and strong, like the Stealth Bomber, I guess. And uh, anyways, this thing is as thin as a razor blade. And I know what you're thinking, there's no way. Yes way, this thing is really as thin as a razor blade. It's so thin that my camera's having a hard time trying to focus in on it because it is so thin. But uh, it really is as thin as a razor blade and that's why I have this digital micrometer out here because I've already checked it. And sure enough, it really is. I, I tested it against the razor blade and a penny and uh, it's, it's ridiculously thin and so uh, I'll tell you how thin it is here in just a second but you know the the reason that they've come out with this uh, wallet is for you know people that you know are carry a wallet like me and you know this is my wallet that I carry every day and I've carried every day for the last couple of years and uh, you can see I've got a ton of cards and I keep a couple of Harbor Freight coupons in there and uh and, uh, you know, just your typical, you know, guy stuff, my license, my gun permit, my fishing license, and got a few bills in there. And so, you know, uh, when you put this in your back pocket and you sit down um, in on your at your desk or riding around in your truck or whatever, you know, this this ain't good for your back. And so um, I wanted to reach out to the guys at Arrow and, and have them send me one of their wallets and uh, I wanted to try it out and see uh, just uh, if it's what it's cracked up to be and uh, so far so good. Um, I was telling you guys how thin this product is and like I said I tested it with the uh, digital micrometer and uh, I've got the measurements uh, right here wrote down and so a razor blade is 1.06 millimeters thick and when I say uh, it's that thick it's not right there at the thin part of the blade it's right there at the handle if my there we go so it's right there at the thickest part of the blade is where I took my measurement and uh, again that's uh, 1.06 millimeters the wallet is 0 0.60 millimeters so it's almost half uh, as, as thin as a razor blade. So that's quite impressive. And uh, you know, if you can't get an idea of just how thick or thin that is, um, I, I did a uh, penny just to see how thick a penny is. And the penny is 1.50, where again, the uh, wallet is 0 0.60. So um, it's about, you know, uh, a third of what the roughly a third of what the penny is so that's pretty impressive to me that they're able to make something that thin and so strong and still provide you know uh, a wallet that's durable and also it has uh, the RFID protection so you know somebody can't come up to you and uh, with one of those machines and try to scan your card and steal your information so you know it does have that protection and so um, it's, it's just amazing to me that uh, they've got all these great features packed into this wallet and so I'm gonna go ahead and and kind of let you take a look at it and and uh, and see just what it looks like to be honest with you there's really not much to it it's 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 so thin and um, you know it it just don't look like much and then you then you go ahead and fill it up with your cards and everything and uh you know just wait till you see how thin it is it's it, it's amazing so i'm going to go ahead and uh put some of the stuff from my wallet into the razor wallet and i'll show you just how it works uh one thing i do want to mention is this wallet is pretty much for a minimalist it holds up to 8 cards plus some cash so, you know, if you've got, you know, 10 or 12 cards, 
it's not going to work for you. It's too, it's too much, but you know, eight or less, uh, that's all you can fit in it. So I want to go ahead and, and put eight cards in here and show you, uh, just what it looks like. All right, guys, uh, I've got eight cards in this wallet and three bills and you just take your bills and put them under this little uh, bungee type strip there in the middle and then you fold it over and uh, you can see just how thin this thing is it's ridiculous I mean pretty much it's uh, it's no thicker than nine cards uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, measure this with a micrometer here in just a second and uh, but if you measure this compared to you know what most of us is carrying it's a big difference a really big difference so um the way that they're able to achieve that is there's really no kind of framework uh in this wallet um it's got two pouches in there for your cards but there's really no kind of thick support where a normal wallet would a leather wallet would have several um supports in there and pa more pouches in there and uh you know it'd be a little bit more rigid but well with this wallet here it just uses your your cards as pretty much as the frame for this wallet so you know that's how they're able to get it down so thin and plus the material is just ridiculously thin so uh i'm gonna measure this right quick and then i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, come back so just bear with me all right, guys, you can see that the um, micrometer says 7.87 millimeters, and that's with three bills and eight credit cards plus the thickness of the wallet. So that's just ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's really just so thin. I can't believe it. Now, uh, I'm going to take a brand new wallet, just a brand new bifold wallet that I've never used before. It's it's fairly thin. I've... Um, I don't know what the quality is on this wallet. I'm, I must have got it or something for Christmas. And uh, I just want to put eight cards in here and uh, the, the three bills, the same that's in this uh, Razor wallet. And then I'm going to measure it with a micrometer and see just how thick it is. And that way you can get an idea of, um, you know, just how thin the Razor wallet is. All right, guys, you can see that I've taken this uh, wallet and I've put the same uh, eight credit cards that was in the Razor wallet. You can see they're not in there no more and the same three bills into this wallet and it's almost 18 millimeters. It's at 17.95 and so I've got it squeezed pretty tight on there and so to me that's that's a big, big improvement. So, um, anyways, uh, if you're having back problems, you might want to definitely consider, uh, getting the, the razor wallet because it is so much thinner and uh, I just think that it's going to help save your back. Plus, you know, um, you know, just from looking at all the videos, I, I think this thing is pretty indestructible. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy that, you know, people can pull on this thing and not be able to to rip it and you know and that and plus it's so thin so you know it's gonna be like not even carrying anything at all and plus uh it's just so freaking light um it's a, it actually weighs lighter than a penny um I, I looked on their their website and they were telling the uh the weights and everything and a penny weighs three point one one grams well this wallet weighs 3.9 so you know i mean you're definitely going to have a lot of weight savings it's going to be thinner and you know it looks like it's going to be more durable it's got a two-year warranty on it and uh so hey uh check them out it's uh arrow is the name of the company and uh stealth wallet is the product and they they offer another wallet uh that's in leather as well and so you can check it out on their website uh i didn't get it to review but uh anyways uh as far as this one here uh, as far as i'm concerned 
uh, I, I give it two thumbs up. You know, if you're looking for something that's lightweight, thin, and you're a minimalist and don't carry a whole lot of cards, uh, then this is the wallet for you. One thing I wanted to point out um, as a feature for this wallet that I like is you see how it has an open window right here and on the other side as well. Well, this is for your ID, but then this little area here is for you to put your thumb in so you can slide the uh, cards out just like that. And so that is pretty handy. But what I was saying is... Um, this thing only fits eight cards, and when I say it only fits eight cards, you cannot get another one in there. So uh, don't get it and expect you to fit ten in there because it just ain't happening. But, uh, you know, it seems to work great with the uh, eight cards, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start carrying one and see if it helps, helps my back some. So anyways, guys, uh, make sure you check out arrow i'll put a link in the description so you can go to their website and um anyways uh i appreciate you watching and please like and subscribe and if there's something you'd like to see me do a video review on uh, please put it in the comments hey if you like the video um give me a good thumbs up if you didn't hey give me a thumbs down tell me what i'm doing wrong and um i'll go ahead and tell you uh if you guys order one of these wallets it's pretty cool because uh, when they come in the mail they come in a little package like this and so it looks like a it looks like a letter <laughs> it's just packaged up in a, in a black envelope with a, a black band around it and it's a nice package but uh when you open it up it's got the uh the wallet right in there just like that so you know it'd make a good a great gift for christmas or a birthday or something so uh Anyways, um, these are $55, and, um, you know, if it lasts you for a couple years, it's definitely worth that because uh, you'll definitely spend $55 on a, a good wallet. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.